second set of tutorials in our series on programming a logic environment for your EWI. So last week we created a kill volume widget in our environment which takes controller number seven messages that are coming in from your EWI and will filter them out by turning this little switch on and off. So to follow up on that this week we're going to create two additional widgets, one of which will be a volume to modulation mapper, and the other will be a pitch bin kill switch. So our volume to modulation mapper is actually quite simple to create. One of the things that you should always keep in mind is that when you create things in the environment, you may be able to reuse them or repurpose them for other things. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my kill volume object here and I'm going to go up here to edit and I'm going to say copy and then I'm going to say paste. And no, I do not want to replace the current selection. And there it pastes a new copy of our kill volume switch right out here waiting for us to either use it or do something else with it. I'm going to delete the connection. The other thing that I could have done was hold down my Option key, click on the original object, and just drag to a new position, and that will duplicate it as well. That will accomplish exactly the same thing. But in this case, I don't want that, so I'm actually going to delete that one. Now, we had packed this into a macro originally because there are several objects inside of here. To open this back up so that we can do additional work on it, we need to open up the macro a little bit. Right here, there is a small box, which you can see right there. And if I grab that box and I drag it open, it opens up the macro slightly. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click right inside that area. It asks me if I want to unpack the macro. I'm going to say unpack. And there it unpacks all of our objects that are inside our kill volume macro. So if you remember from last week, we created a controlling switch that controls the position of this cable switcher. If you watch the cable connection as I click the on and off switch, it switches between position 1, which is off, or I'm sorry, position 0, which is off, and position 1, which is on. In the off position, the input signal from the macro N is fed through the cable switcher and goes out the topmost output, output 0. It's sent to a null through object. This is just an ornament with the label through on it, which then goes to our macro out. This is to just give me a visual indicator of where that signal path is going to. When I turn this on, it sends the signal through the second output, which is up output 1, and into our kill volume transformer, which is set to filter out volume, and then through our output object, our macro out. So in order to create the object that we need to create for changing volume into modulation, all we actually have to do is reprogram the transformer. So we're going to open up the transformer and we get this dialog box. We're going to take a look in here. And right now it's set to filter out volume. So I have under mode filter matching events. Status is a controller because volume number seven is a controller message. On all channels, any channel that it receives, it's going to filter that. Data byte one equals seven, which is controller number seven, which is volume. Data byte two is set to all. I'm going to change the mode to the first one. Apply the operation. Let all other non-matching events pass through. That means that 
It's going to apply the operation to whatever we tell it to, and anything that doesn't fit the definition, it's just going to send through unchanged. And notice as soon as I do that, I get a slightly larger window. So status is control. Controllers are going through. All channels going through. Data byte 7. It says through. I don't want that. I want to fix volume to controller number 1, which is modulation. And all data bytes going through for data byte 2. So now, in essence, what I have said is anytime a controller comes in that has a definition of controller number 7, I want this transformer to fix that controller number to controller number 1, which is modulation, and send it out. If I close this, we can then see looks exactly the same, but our definition of our transformer is different. So I'm going to rename my transformer to volume equals mod or vol equals mod so that it is very self-explanatory. We talked a little bit last week about making sure that you label things so that you know exactly what they are doing. So if I select this object and I now go to new and I'm going to say new macro and there's my macro object. I'm just going to resize it and then I'm going to rename it by command clicking and I'm going to say vol equals mod. So now, over here, I have my kill volume switch, and here I have my volume equals modulation switch. I'm going to close this down a little bit more so it looks neater. So now I can s chain these in series. I can take the output from the kill volume and actually run that into the input of the volume equals modulation and run that into my instrument channel. So right now my volume is being killed by this switch. So even if I turn on my modulation event I won't hear any difference in the sound. So this is without it. This is with it. No difference. But if I turn off the kill volume switch, but I leave on volume to modulation, you should hear as the breath pressure rises, you should hear the modulation start to kick in. Same sound, just having the volume control being remapped to the modulation control for that particular ES2. Now that's an extreme example. You would not necessarily want the modulation to have that much effect on the sound, but for our purposes, hearing the effect that it has actually works. So again, now if I turn this off, notice that my fader starts to jump up and down again because volume is now being present at the channel fader. Whereas before I had wanted this to not react to breath control, so I'm able to kill the volume or change that signal to something else. That is our simple volume to modulation switch. All right, that does it for this tutorial on creating volume to modulation mapper. Check out the next tutorial in this series, which shows you how to create a pitch bend kill switch so that you can turn pitch bend on and off selectively to different objects. Until next time, this is John Isley for eerielogic.com. Have a great week.